Welcome to the Lead Code Challenge. Today marks the first day for the May Lead Code Challenge. And today's question is going to be the first bad version. So, say you are a product manager and currently leading a team to develop a new product. Unfortunately, the latest version of your product fails the quality check. Since each version is developed based on the previous version, all the versions after a bad version are also bad. Okay, makes sense. So suppose that you have a, a, a list N of versions. Um, it's going to be a list of integers, starts, starting with one, and you want to find out the very first bad one. So we're given an API, um, or a function rather, is, is bad version, which is going to return whether the version that you enter is good or bad. So I guess it'll return a true if it's bad and a false if it's actually good. So that's a little bit confusing, but go with it. All right, so here's the idea, right? Say that you have a list of one, two, three, four, five. We're given the number five, and we want to find, all right, out of the, this list of integers, which version was the very first bad one, right? So imagine that you had a list like, I don't know, zero, 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 one, one, like that, and it's going to start with one. So this is interesting. Um, can't think of it like a list because it's in Python lists are zero indexed. Uh, but here it's going to be one indexed, right? So one is um, uh, false, which is actually good. Two, three are all good. Four is the very first bad one. And we're going to be given the um, integer five. And it's our job to figure out, all right, which one was the very first bad one. So obviously the very easy method would be to say, uh, okay, we'll just start with five, okay? Decrement by one, check if that one's bad. Um, and just continue until it, you hit one that is good and return the one that's uh, that was the first bad version. So that would be simple enough, but that is a big old n solution. Uh, in this case, we could do better. So I thought about this for a while and I realized very quickly, oh, well, this is just a binary search problem, right? We can solve this in log n. We already know what the beginning one is. It's going to start with one. Uh, we don't know whether it's good or bad, but we know that the very first index is 1, and whatever number that they enter in this first bad version, for our case and purposes, that's going to be the edge or the, the very last one. So uh, if we were to like do a binary search here, what we would do is search the middle first, check if that's bad. If it is, then we know that um, we have to check also before us to see if those are bad as well. And then we would just make our, um, uh, I guess, right pointer point to the one that we were at and check in the middle of that. And if that one is also false, we continue. If that one is actually good, then we want to search the other way. And we continue that until we hit the point where the left pointer and the right pointer equal each other. Um, and that's going to be the point that we return, right? All right, so... Let's start with initializing our pointers. We know that a left pointer is going to be 1. It's going to be pointing to the 1 here. And our right is going to be basically whatever they input. And we have a function that is written. They call it an API. And we're going to input that to see if that version is um, bad or not. And we want to return the point at which bad um, is the very first one. So that just basically means where whatever is left most, that one is actually good. Okay, so usually with these binary search problems, you do a while loop and say while left is less than r. Uh, first, we want to calculate the midpoint, right? So we could say the midpoint is left plus r divided by 2. Round that up, or round down rather. And that's going to give us our pointer for our, that's going to be what we check. Okay, so we check to see, is this mid version bad? And if it is, then we want to continue searching left, right? So that would mean to make r equal to mid. Okay, and, th and that way we could, the next time we loop over, we're going to check uh, so say that we checked here first. Next time we loop over, we're going to, like we checked this whole array. Now we're just going to check this part. OK, 
Okay, else. We're going to say, nope, it wasn't. Then let's search the other way. And we'll make left equal to mid. And you actually need to add a plus one here. I'll explain why in just a bit. After that, all you do is it's going to break the loop once L is no longer less than R. That basically means L equals R. So we just return either L or R. Let's just return L. And that should be it. And indeed, the expected answer was 4. We return 4. So just a quick note here. Why do we have to add this plus 1? Well, to be honest, when I first tried this, um, I set it up like this, and it wasn't working properly. And I realized it's because of the way that um, we need to choose which index to return. So say that we're starting here. At a certain point, it's we're going to be searching this array, right? The left is going to point in here, and right will be pointing here. And it's going to check mid, which will always be this one. So which way do we want this pointer to go? Do we want left to go here or right to go here? Like, are you want to, do we want to return the very last good version or do we want to return the very first bad version? And because it's, we, we want it here, we want to return the very first bad version, we want our left incrementer to um, go to the right. So that's why we have to add plus one here to get that to work. So I'm going to submit it and we got accepted. So that's it. It's a pretty standard standard problem. Um, you'll see variations of it, but but hopefully that explains it pretty well. Thank you.